Hey guys, it's Mark Thompson, and welcome inside of Social Kickstart, which is the uh, number one Facebook marketing solution. It has been designed to create and manage all of your Facebook fan pages, as well as now Facebook groups, and create content super, super fast that you know is going to go viral, which is going to help uh, deliver more likes, more members, more traffic to your fan pages, of which you can then monetize. And we've created all sorts of really cool, cool tools that you can use inside of Social Kickstart. So let me dive right into this application so you can see how powerful it is. Uh, it's been around for about two years now. We have thousands of beta testers, um, but the tool has been around for years and we've just continued to improve on it and uh, build on top of it based on what our, uh, our uh, existing members have been asking for. So what you're looking at, this is just one of my test accounts. You'll notice that you'll see all of these different fan pages. Now you can go in here and you can, if you have a lot of fan pages and groups, you can filter by either just fan pages or just groups. You'll be able to see the number of likes or the number of members you have for each campaign, uh, as well as the number of posts that are going to be that are going to be going out. So if you notice here, I have one scheduled here. You notice that it pops up a little modal and it shows you the post, what time it's going to be going out. Um, that's just a kind of a quick uh, look at at scheduling. And then it also shows you the number of posts that have been completed or that you've posted in inside of social kickstart. You'll also be able to see the last time it was updated the last uh, 90 days in terms of the number of members or the number of likes that you have. And then you can dive into each one of these campaigns. Now, if you wanted to uh, import more fan pages or more groups, all you need to do is click on create new campaign. You can select from all of these if you wanted to, or specifically groups or just fan pages. And you can click on the ones you want and click on create campaign. And it's going to get added to your dashboard. Okay. I just selected a few just to show you guys a quick demo of social kickstart in action. Now that's just the main dashboard. Now, when you want to post content or find content to have it go out there and, and either republish it to, to your own fan pages or edit it, I'll show you guys how to do that in a second, but we have this, what, what's called this quick post feature. So you can click on the campaign that you want to work on, click on quick post, and you can uh, create a post that's going to go out to your, your uh, Facebook fan page or group. We also uh, allow you to post to LinkedIn as well as Twitter. These are new features that we've just added recently because our, our, um, our members have been asking for it. So we wanted to include it so you can simultaneously post uh, a, a, an update to lots of different social media properties at one time. Okay. Now you'll notice on this quick post here, it's, you know, there's a lot of Facebook posters out there, but this is the, the best because you can control every single aspect of the, the post, the image title, the image hyperlink. If you want to use an image, if you don't want to use an image, if you want to make the link, uh, or if you want to make the image, uh, clickable, you do, or don't have to do that. Here's your image message and then your main update. And then you can either post this now or you can schedule it for a specific time. Okay. So that's just the quick uh, post feature. A lot of members were asking for something like that. Uh, and it's really easy if you just need to get something out quick. Okay. Now, if you want to find content, which this is really where the bread and butter comes into play with social kickstart right now, you can search Facebook pages, Facebook groups, you can do meme searches, you can search Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, Tumblr, and Vine. And we continue adding more sources as this, this product is, as this app continues to evolve. So say that I wanted to, uh, I have this Miami heat fan page. Okay. And I want to see what are other people posting around the Miami heat, uh, basketball team. So I'm just going to do a quick search in Facebook pages and it's going to go out and it's going to find all of the pages related to Miami heat. Now I could have done that for all these different types of ser searches. If I wanted to search, uh, YouTube videos or Instagram images or Pinterest pins, I can do that as well. But as you can see just for Facebook pages, 
you can sort it by any of the columns. So you can uh, sort by likes, people talking about it, the specific category. And then you can also add any of this content as a favorite. And so you can see I've highlighted some of these uh, content sources that I really like. Okay. Uh, meaning that they have really good content. Their, their content always goes viral. And when I publish or repost something from their site onto my page, uh, it does really, really well. And so you can click on it right from favorites and it's an easy way to get back to content that you want to, uh, keep, keep an eye on or continuously republish the content that people are, are posting on these sites. So what I can do is click on get all posts and what it's going to do is going to go out to this fan page and it's going to load in um, all of their, their posts. And so you, you can sort it again by likes, comments, shares, post it on, and then you can go in here and you can actually edit the post right directly from here. So this is just a link. Uh, you can change the image if you want to. You can go out and view the actual posts right directly from that fan pages if, page if you wanted to, but you don't have to. You never have to leave the social Kickstarter platform. So if I wanted to, I could see, you know, I want to try to find the content that has been most commented on. Okay. Well, here's one right here. Okay. Uh, over 11,000 likes, 833 comments and 1,422, 27 people have shared this. Okay. This was, uh, and actually I, I reposted this, this exact, um, post and it, it, and it generated a lot of likes and comments because it's already been proven on another targeted fan page or somewhere else on the web. You can just quickly see and sort and see which content goes viral. And that's really where you are going to build more members, more likes, more engagement around your fan pages, which is going to help you to build an email list, to monetize your fan pages, to generate sales for whatever it is that you're selling. Okay. And as you can see here, I can just sort through. Now, some of these don't have, have images. Again, uh, I can go and view the post. I could either post this right now if I wanted to, and I'll click on post and there it is right there. Okay. Um, or I can go to schedule and I can schedule this for a specific time. So say I want this to go out, uh, on the 13th at, you know, at 8 AM I can do that. Okay. And then I can click schedule and I can choose which account I want this to, uh, to go on to, I want to go to my Miami heat. Say I wanted this to go to now, obviously these are some of my personal profiles, but say you did have some, uh, some other, uh, profiles that you wanted to go out to and I could schedule this and boom, I just created that, that scheduled post. Now I could do this for all of these different pieces of content if I wanted to. Okay. It's super, super powerful. I'll go in and just do a few other, uh, searches. I'm just going to do a quick YouTube search just so you guys can get an understanding of how easy it is to find such relevant, high quality content. Here's another one, uh, over 1 million views, uh, almost 7,000 likes, 321 dislikes, whole bunch of comments. As you can see, proven content that people are engaging, uh, just super, super simple. I'll go to Instagram, do a quick search, and it's going to go and check out all the Instagram, uh, profiles that are out there. You can see uh, all these different profiles, the photos, followers following last time they updated. Say I wanted to go here. I can get all of their posts from Instagram and here is tons of content and I can sort by likes. I can sort by comments to see which is getting the most, uh, engagement and people talking about it, right? So super, super powerful guys. You never have to leave the application and you can find months, years worth of content in a matter of just a few clicks. Okay. Now we also have, um, the post area. I'll just show you a few other areas here. When you, uh, th this is just going to show you just a summary of what has been posted onto your fan pages. So, uh, you can see the likes, shares, comments, post reach, post clicks and engagement rate. And you can go and you can sort this if you want to. And so you can see a whole bunch of posts here. You can go out and you can view the post if you want to, to see it on the page. Um, it's just, again, you never have to leave the application now on top of this. And, and there's also the scheduled area as well. So if I switch over to scheduled, you'll be able to see what is scheduled. You can edit this if you want to, um, very, very simple to go in there and edit your, your cues. Now on top of the, the really the bread and butter of social kickstart, which is finding relevant, uh, shareable content and reap and posting it or editing it and posting it to your fan pages. We built in a whole bunch of really cool tools. So 
for those of you who are monetizing your fan pages through t-shirts, you want to see what t-shirts are, are, are hot, you know, which ones are selling really well. Well, I'll just use the same, you know, Miami heat, uh, uh, example, and it goes out to Teespring and it goes and finds all of the t-shirts that are being sold on that site. And, uh, it, it can give you ideas as to what type of t-shirt designs you should create, right? Uh, what, what price points they're using. You can go and view the shirt when it was created. If it was an active, uh, if it was an active campaign or not, uh, some of these are closed down, but you can do this for any niche, right? You can do this for dogs. You can do this for, uh, really any product or, or, or service type. It really doesn't matter. And that's one of the great things about social kickstart. Okay. Um, so right now it's, it's searching, uh, teespring, and it's finding all of the uh, t-shirt designs, which of course you can maybe replicate. Um, so here's one here, you know, save a sheltered dog, save a veteran, right? Uh, so this can hopefully just give you at a glance some good ideas as to, you know, maybe you can sort it by sold, by goal, um, by price points. And as you can see, it's it's adding more um, as, as it's going through here. Um, it's finding more here, like this one here sold 77. Um, so th again, this should hopefully just give you some ideas, uh, at, for t-shirt designs. Okay. So that's just one of the tools to help you with monetization. Now we also have this retargeting, uh, component. So if you want, you click on create new audience, add your retargeting pixel. Now it doesn't have to be a Facebook retargeting pixel. Most of you are going to use Facebook retargeting, but if you use ad roll, fetch back, any other third party re retargeting pixel, right? Um, say I want to give this a name, right? Um, you know, just, uh, retargeting, uh, demo. I put my, uh, uh code in here, right? Uh, whatever that retargeting pixel is, I put in the, the, the landing page, Okay. Uh, say this is just my digital kickstart.com site. And when I save this, it's going to give me a, a link. Okay. So here's that link. And as you can see it, um, this is a special link that when they click on this, hit that, um, they're going to hit that goes to the site. Now it hits the uh, retargeting code. So anybody who hits this speci specific link gets added to your, your retargeting campaign. So you can market to them through banner ads or whatever type of retargeting campaign you're setting up in Facebook or, or wherever Google doesn't really matter. So this is a nice little, um, way to build custom audiences to remarket to them. Okay. Now we've also added in a, a, a an ad builder, which allows you to create ads uh, with no Photoshop or design experience. So what we've done, we've given you lots of different proven ad templates that we've actually used to run Facebook ads and you can click on them. There's t-shirt ads. If you guys are running t-shirt campaigns, uh, lots of generic ones, it doesn't really matter. What you can do is just click on one of them. Okay. You can view it or just select it and it loads in the template and you'll see that all of these are drag and drop. Okay. All these different elements. So you can edit these. Um, you can, the, these are all just different layers. So it's just, you can delete them just by clicking on delete, right? Um, I can go in here. I can, uh, change the text if I wanted to, right? Just really, really simple. I can click, whoops, and click on here, click on, uh, I can delete that. Right. Then we have some other really cool uh, options like adding a border. Whoops. I could do solid background if I want to, I could change the color really super. I could do a little gradient if I wanted to do a gradient. Okay. So it makes it super easy to create these. You can do an image background. Then we have this area where you can add in all these different elements like badges, buttons, highlights, uh, icons, numbers. I mean, you, you could just go through and, and, you know, uh, t-shirts, uh, designs, you can upload your own images, you know, so say I wanted to add this t-shirt, boom, there's, there's the t-shirt. Oops. Remove the border there. Uh, I can move that out. I can do whatever I want. So it's super, super easy to create ads without having to worry about, uh, hiring a designer. You can just use all the different templates that we have and, and graphical elements. You can export them to JPEG or PNG, or I could save this and edit it later and put it, it'll um, get put into my dashboard, right? So when I click on, go to uh, back to dashboard, you can see that there. So as you can see, guys, um, social kickstart is 
Uh, it's a it's a very robust application. We've been working on it for a number of years, and we just continue to add more and more uh, features and enhancements as you guys keep telling us what you guys want. So um, as you can see, this this can save you literally tens of thousands of dollars, depending on how many campaigns you want to manage and how many you want to scale out, right? Instead of having to hire virtual assistants, you can really find content, post content, schedule content super, super fast. Um, and so this is the, by far and away, uh, the best tool out there for, for, uh, content creation for your, your Facebook and not only Facebook, but also, uh, link, uh, LinkedIn and Twitter and your Facebook groups as well. Uh, and, and there are tools that are somewhat similar to this. Uh, this is pretty unique, but for other apps that are out there, they charge literally hundreds of dollars per month. And there's always limitations in terms of how many fan pages you can manage and how many posts you can do. You really have unlimited access to your own personal fan pages and groups, how many, uh, uh, posts you want to publish, how many, uh, posts you want to schedule. And it's just super, super easy to use. Uh, it's just really point and click. So you never have to leave social kickstart. You never have to go to Facebook. You can do everything from in here instead of having to switch back and forth to different tabs, which I know is really, really annoying inside of Facebook. So, uh, you can do almost everything that you, you would need to do to manage your Facebook campaigns on a daily basis. So uh, we do have a special offer going on right now where you can get social kickstart at a significantly discounted price. The price is going to go up. So I would strongly recommend that you grab social kickstart before it expires. Um, there probably is a countdown timer on here. Once it's hit, hit zero, uh, we reserve the right to double the price. We're probably going to start charging on a monthly and annual basis where there is going to be no uh, lifetime. Uh, so hopefully when you're watching this video, you're able able to grab social kickstart at a one-time lifetime cost um, because we're not going to be able to keep that option open forever. So uh, we hope that you guys will start uh, leveraging social kickstart and really scaling up your Facebook fan pages.